Hi there, this is John again from mysolarhome.us and this is a short video. I'm going to be talking about solar tax credits. Anybody who's thinking about solar, first question they ask me is how much do I get in terms of a solar tax credit? How do I claim it? How do I use it? Etc. Etc. So I'm going to be talking in this video about residential solar tax credits and tax credits for businesses. This is good information. Stick around. Especially if you were the owner of a business, solar tax credits are really, really interesting. I'll cover the residential first, then we'll get on to the, um, the business tax credits. So in 2021 and 2022, the federal tax credit is 26%. In 2023, it reduces to 22% and then 24 onwards, it's at 10%. We expect the Biden government to hopefully extend the 26% further on. Now, how does this work? It's simple. Let's say you as a homeowner, you buy a solar system worth 20 grand, 26% of 20 grand, which is $5,200, you get off your federal taxes. Every year you file taxes, right? Let's say you file taxes in 2021 and you calculated your adjusted gross, gross income and your taxes payable this year are eight thousand bucks since you got a tax credit of 5200 because of your solar instead of paying 7200 bucks of federal taxes you would pay 7200 less 5200 and only two thousand dollars of taxes so it actually goes off your federal taxes payable it doesn't go off your income it goes off your federal taxes payable so it is cash it's dollar for dollar is going to come back to your pocket so if you buy your solar system for $20,000, you get $5,200 back. You would actually end up paying $14,800 for your solar system. It's a very nice, very substantial amount of money that you get back in your pocket. Now, the residential tax credit, you don't get it if you don't stay in the home. If it's a rental home, you can't claim it. If you stay in the rental home for a part of the year, let's say you stay there for three months of the year, then you can claim three by three months out of 12 one-fourth of that credit you can instead of 26 percent you'll gain one-fourth of 26 percent that's the rule for residential uh, solar tax credit next question i get asked is how do i take the tax credit how do i get this when you're filing your taxes for example if you bought it in 2021 in 2022 january february march whenever you're filing your taxes your 1040 claiming the tax credit is easy there is a form 5695 google it Download the form. It's dead simple. All it asks is how much did you pay for solar? 20,000. What's the tax credit? 26% for this year, 5,200 bucks. And then refer to that form in the appropriate line on your 1040 when you're filing taxes. That's it. Easy. Now, let's get on to tax credits for businesses. Businesses get much bigger benefits of tax credits. They not only get a 26% and a business can buy a solar system and install it in on any other business. So for example, if you're the business owner, you have your own factory or you have a building, you can of course put it in your building on your factory. But you could even put it on the building or a factory of somebody else. This happens very, very often in solar where you have a business owner who does not have the money to put solar he decides to partner with another guy who has a lot of tax appetite. That guy, as a business, helps him buy the solar system by financing it, and that guy claims the credit. So as a business owner, if you have a lot of tax liability, you can invest in solar and claim those tax benefits. Let's say you own a million bucks. So this year, your business had a windfall, and you have a huge tax, huge taxes payable. You could potentially go out and buy solar systems totally unrelated to and install them in various businesses. There are solar companies looking out for people like you. They want your tax appetite. Now, how do you make money? You get the same 26% tax credit which we just talked about. So if you invest $100,000 into the solar, you'll get 26,000 back as a federal tax credit. That's straightforward. On top of that, you get depreciation related tax benefits. For solar, you have 
accelerated depreciation which allows you to claim the federal depreciation in the first year itself. This is only valid for 2021 and 2022. You can claim an accelerated depreciation on your solar system. It's called MACRS, Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System. And you can claim 100% in the first year itself. For your state taxes, you can claim depreciation for that too. That you follow a regular schedule. 100% depreciation in the first year for federal, plus over six years you get your state depreciation. If the cost of the solar is 100,000, since you've taken a tax credit of 26% on it, you can't claim depreciation on the full 100,000, but you claim depreciation on 100% minus a half of that 26%. That means you can claim depreciation on 87,000 bucks. What that means is for this particular year, you have a depreciation expense of 87,000 bucks. Now, if you're in the highest tax bracket, let's say 37%. If you add up the, the income tax, the federal income tax credit, the tax benefits from federal depreciation, the, federal, the tax benefits from state depreciation for the first year. In New Jersey, for example, the tax benefit or somebody who's in the highest tax bracket paying 36% federal taxes, it comes out of 60%. That means your $100,000 solar system that you bought, you get back $59,990 the, the first year itself. You just have $40,000 left to recover. And because your solar system saves you a boatload of money on electric bills, plus you get T-Rex from the state, I mean, this is only for Jersey, but other states have other incentives, you potentially get your money back in two years or three years. It is fabulous. I advise any business owner who has a building or who if you have a friend who owns a business where you could potentially put solar or for example you're the member of a temple or a community where they don't have solar you could potentially put solar on the temple we have a lot of temples which have gone solar like this the, the economics work out really good the return on investment the the inter the irr for a solar system is in the high 20 percent it's like investing money into an instrument that gives you 20% or more of return over 10 years. The only caveat for business related tax benefits is you have to own the system for at least six years. If you own it for less than six years, your depreciation and tax benefits could be clawed back. This is an information video. I'm not a finance professional or a tax professional. You should consult with your tax consultant or your CPA for the exact nuances of how to claim the various tax benefits. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again and you have a great day.